This is Master Sergeant Tim Huffman, and today I'm speaking with individual reservist Major Warren Neary. Sir, can you please start by telling me what it is you do for the Air Force? Sure. I'm a historian uh, assigned to Air Force Base Command on the reserve side. I'm an individual mobilization augmentee. And then on the civil servant side, I'm, I'm a historian, also an AFNIC. I'm also a member of the Air Force Art Program, and that, that program uh, documents uh, the Air Force story uh, through paintings that are exhibited to the public and they hang in various government buildings around the world. And uh, they highlight the, the airmen, uh, reserve and active duty, uh, civil service who, who protect and serve our country and our allies. And how, how long have you been a member of this Air Force art program? I've been a member since 2001. Just a little side story. The, uh, when I first heard about the program, I think I was in public affairs at the time. I was walking the halls of the Pentagon, and I saw uh, all these beautiful paintings on the wall. And what's, when I heard about this program, I thought, wow, because at the time I, I had interest. I had uh, graduated uh, just recently with a, with a degree in art, and uh, I really enjoyed painting. And so when I got back, I had inquired uh, about the program, and somebody else in public affairs at the time said, hey, uh, actually, uh, Air Force art programs for professional artists are for lieutenants like yourself. But I didn't let that deter me, and it wasn't uh, more than just a few years later that I was actually able to get into the program. And so that program actually started in the, uh, with the birth of the Air Force. The Army uh, provided about 800 uh, paintings and to, to the Air Force, and those paintings have grown over the years. Uh, it's about 10,000 paintings that are in the collection now today. That's really awesome. Now, how many pieces of art have you done for the Air Force, and can you describe one of your favorites? Sure. I, I have uh, about, uh, I think, 24 paintings in the Air Force Art Collection and one in the Army Center for Military History. Uh, wh one of my favorites, because I've been in the Air Force uh, Space Command for about 14 years now, and it's of, called uh, Space Country, uh, Vandenberg, Past, Present, and Future. And it uh, tells the story of a space lift, space launch, uh, ICBM testing. So it has a space operator in the middle of the painting um, with uh, the, the build of the satellite and the testing and and launch of the launch vehicle, and also uh, shows uh, Vandenberg kind of at night with the, with the fog moving in and, and the mist. Major Neary recently completed two new pieces for the Air Force, which were unveiled at this year's Reserve Officers Association National Convention. Sir, can you please tell me about your latest works and where they will hang? Sure. I completed two paintings recently. The first one was uh, it's called uh, Deterrence on Demand, and it depicts the men and women of the Air Force Reserve Command 307th Bomb Wing generating a B-52 nuclear exercise. And this is the uh, this is the first the first wing in the Air Force Reserve that, that uh, that's uh, been granted uh, nuclear certification, a first uh, for the Air Force Reserves. And then uh, the other painting uh, also. Um, I felt privileged to put it together, but it's the, the story of the rescue of uh, Marcus Luttrell, our uh, Air Force Reserve Airman, uh, participating in a joint operation when they were assigned to the 59th Expeditionary Rescue Squadron. Uh, that was uh, Operation Red Wings. This painting depicts the point where um, PJ's uh, Josh Apple and Chris Perchecki jumped out of the, the helicopter to rescue uh, Marcus Luttrell and, and his friend Muhammad Gulab, who were approaching the helicopter at the time. Both of those paintings depict uh, some very powerful emotions. What is it specifically uh, that inspires you as an Air Force artist? I, uh, I really love uh, the work of the old masters that's been developed over hundreds of years, um, the ability to create uh, the depth and emphasis and subordination and different focal points. The Air Force is a part of my blood. I've, I've been in the Air Force now for about 16 years, and I really enjoy taking that old language and using it and telling our story. Major Neary was recently selected as the 2015 Air Force Association National Aerospace Gil Rob Wilson Award for Arts and Letters. Major Neary, thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you. It's my pleasure.